the number one team in the nation in serious trouble on its home field. They're down to an outstanding Arkansas team. Down at 11 for Arkansas, 147 remaining. One timeout left. Sterner lost the football! Oh my goodness! He stumbled and fumbled! And Billy Rodliff recovered! All the highlights were about that one play. And it really wasn't fair because he really played well enough to win. How often in sports and in life do we get a shot at redemption? Exactly one year after the toughest play of his life, Clint Sterner got his second chance. November 13th, 1999, Senior Day against Tennessee. This game was a little different. I, I was nervous, um, I, and I was, it, was a, it was a good nervous. It was a, it was a, I wanted to win this game more than I typically wanted to win a game. I mean, we knew what was at stake, and it, it, he didn't really have to, coach didn't really have to motivate us for that. We were ready for it. Just like 98, the Vols and Hogs traded scores back and forth. Touchdown, Tennessee. Sterner looking. Hawk, Arkansas, touchdown. Blue Williams in the end zone. What a catch and throw by Sterner. The Razorbacks found themselves trailing 24-21 late in the fourth quarter with the football. And so when the play came in a couple of plays later, I actually changed Anthony's route to the post. Um, and instead of an out route, I changed it to a post because I had seen that a few plays before. Of course, when you call a play like that, it's double posting, it's to my side. I'm thinking, I got a chance of catching the ball, so I know I got I to have to get open. And it happened. Blitz from Tennessee. Worked a lot of time. Huge burden off of his back. Something that monkey that that monkey that he had been wearing since a whole year leading back up to Tennessee. And, and it was just a quick thank you, Lord, for allowing us to uh, to complete that ball for, for the line to block, the play action to work, and Anthony to come down with it, man. So it was just a a quick thank you, Lord, man. That, that's that's all that was. Following a key defensive stop to ice the game. Clint called the play he had been waiting 365 days for. Victory formation. You could just feel the emotions. And it was an emotional moment yeah, for you and Clint and everybody. It, it was, it was. The field was, as you said, it was just stampeded with all Arkansas Hogs, students, alums, you know, players, parents, everybody was there. It was just a great time, you know, a celebrated time. Uh, but it's but you said one thing is so true. It was an emotional time because of the because of the victory that we felt like we gave up the previous year. Leading up to that whole year, you know, what happened the year before. And I'm just, just let every, whatever people wanted to do, I'm shaking hands, hugging people and emotional and, you know, just looking around like, God, I can't believe this. At that point in time, all the emotions that I had within, I think you saw the fans carry that same, that same emotion uh, throughout the year and that game meant as much to them as it did for me. Two decades later, those three little words filled this Razorback fan base with joy. Sterner to Lucas. I could, I could be in the airport and I have people come up to me and talk about that. Hey, I was one of the ones that uh, tore down the GoPro. I'm the ones that helped walk the GoPros down to Dixie. You know, yeah, you get all these stories. I don't know if it's true or not, but they sure claim it. And it, it, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling because uh, I remember Coach Royals talking about the, the, just the feeling of celebration and happiness.